so today's assignment is called Combinational Logic and Overview. No, it's not. It's AOI Logic Analysis. There we go. AOI, AOI Logic Analysis. AOI stands for and, ors, and inverters, and it's logic analysis. Sounds complex. It's actually not. Um, I'm going to open this with Google Slides. I recommend you do the same if you ever want to see this. And um, the cool thing about this Google Slides thing right here is, one second here. I don't think you guys can see it, so let me just double check you can. There we go. So um, here's the presentation. And the cool thing is if we know yesterday um, about how and, ors, and inverters work, which they're pretty quite straightforward, uh, then this should be pretty easy. Uh, so um, to analysis, truth table to equation, equation to truth table technique. OK, let's see. Here we go. Analyze the logic circuit shown below to determine the circuit's truth table. So here we don't have a truth table. We just have a circuit, but we can make a truth table from this, and there's a way to do it. Um, I don't know, it's not as hard as you might think. Using the truth table derive the logic expression. So they want us to go backwards. They want us to take this drawing and make a truth table. Then from the truth table, uh, they want us to... Uh, they want us to make the logic expression. So I'm going to show you guys how to do that. First off, we already know how big the truth table is going to be. You guys see this? There's three inputs, X, Y, and Z, and one output. So the three inputs, that means there's going to be eight different rows. These are called test points, by the way, and I don't know why they're kind of like not showing really well here. Uh, but there's a test point here, a test point here, a test point here? No. Where the I, I'm guessing it's pointing to here, and then a test point here, and then we have the out, actual output. These are just test points in real life. They don't mean anything other than we're just checking to see, like step by step, what would be the logic levels here. Remember, what are logic levels? They're either ones or zeros. Pretty straightforward. A logic level is either one or a zero. Um, and then add a column to the truth table for the test points. So notice that here's the here's the regular truth table right here. Do you guys see it? It's X, Y, Z. It's eight long. We already know how to do this. It's zero, one, zero, one, zero, one, zero, one. The next one is two zeros, two ones, two zeros, two ones. And this one right here, four zeros, four ones. And uh, if you're not sure how to do that, just watch one of the prior videos. The actual um, output is here. Now, these are just test points. They're just here for like educational purposes, like when we're studying it. That's it. It doesn't really mean much other than that. Um, so let's just get to the point, because we already know how we already know how to get the equation from the truth table, right? We just put we just look for when the machine's on, and notice it's only these three times right here. Or the, what should I say? Not the machine, the output. So when the output is one here, here, and here, we write a min term for them. Notice that y and z are on, but x is off. So what we call not x right here. See not x, and so these are pretty straightforward. And then you just add them at the bottom. Uh, analyze the circuit below. So let's do that. This is what it would look like. And I think the best way for me to do this for you guys is to just jump to it and do it, okay? Rather than me sit here and go through a whole PowerPoint. So let's do that right now. So here we go. First thing you're going to do is, the first thing you're going to do is write your, you know, have this drawing here. You're going to do a truth table. And it's easy to do them because you can see right here how many how many uh, actual uh, we have how many inputs two so two inputs would only have four combinations zero one zero one two zeros two ones that's it now let's do the test points only because they're asking us to do it normally I'll never ask you to do test points in class but it's just educational and it shows baby steps okay so let's do it this is not as hard as you think first off let's do a quick review and then I'm gonna erase it. You guys should already know that if you have an inverter, if this is a zero, then this will be a one. Okay, you should already know that. And then also you know that if there's a one here, if the logic level of this wire is a one, then this side is a zero. That's what an inverter, that's what an inverter does. Okay, that's just quick review from yesterday. You should also know that if you have two inputs, like an AND gate here, and right here, uh, it the only way you get a one right here for this wire for this wire to be a one these both have to be ones this wire here and this wire here 
any other combination. Any other combination here will result with a zero output. That's an AND gate. Now, if you have an OR gate, it's a little pointy right here, and it has the arced back, remember, and it's pointy right here. Um, this one is pretty much always going to give you a 1, always, except when they're both off. If there are two zeros, this will be a 0. Other than that, any combination, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, will result in a 1 right here. That's how that works. Once we know that, this is actually going to be quite easy. Watch this. So let's do this row right here. Let's do this row right here. Um, first off, this one, this spot right here, we're going to reserve that for the end because uh, we won't know until we're done with all of this. So watch this. What is X and Y? They're both 0. Do you guys see that? 0 and 0. So let's go ahead and do this. All right, here we go. Uh, if this is a 0, and this is a 0, just like this scenario says, let's go on. Okay, so there's a 0 here. This wire is a zero right here. But on the other side, I think we all know that this will be, and you're already thinking in your head, well, that's an inverter, so this will be a one, right? So test point one is simply a one, okay? Um, now, if you have a zero and a one, and this is an AND gate, we know that this will be a zero. Why? Because the only way this turns to a one is if these are both ones, but this one is not. So it's going to be a zero. So test point two is a zero. See, we're already done with that. Let's go over here. We haven't done this stuff over here. This is a zero. Goes this way. So this is still a zero, right? Goes through an inverter. This becomes a one. So test point three is a one. Uh, what is this wire here? It's zero, zero. So this is still a zero. Now this is an AND gate. And remember, you can only get a one here on an AND gate if they're both ones. So you're going to get a zero here because that's how AND gates work. You only get a one on the output if these are both ones, this one and this one. That's why it's called an AND gate. Um, so we're going to get a zero here. And so test point four is a zero. So finally, what is the answer for F1 right here? That's why I said we do this one last. Uh, well, this is an OR gate. And this will become a one if any of these are ones. Right, right now, they're both zeros. So this will be a zero. So this is a zero here. That's all we do. That's all there is to this. So now that I know that, oh, I don't want to erase, oh man, I didn't know it erased all of it. That's not fair. I thought it doesn't erase at all. So I got to erase all these now. So let me erase, let me erase all these. Um, so I recommend you draw this in your notebook and just do this. So now let's do this one. X is zero and Y is one. X is, X is 0 and Y is 1. Now I'm okay, good. Now I can let the dogs inside now? Uh, in a little bit, when I'm done here, okay? Okay. Um, thank you. Um, so now, I'm just doing this one. X is 0, Y is 1. So X is 0, Y is 1. And we go, so this is still a 0 here. This is a 1, but this inverts to a 0. Right? 1 here. And that inverts to a zero. So test point one is a zero. And this zero right here will invert to a one. So test point three is a one. Uh, where's test point two right here? Let's see, zero inverts to a zero. Zero, zero is definitely going to be a zero here. So that's test point two. And then um, test, oh, wait, we got to do test point four right here. Uh, what is this wire? That's a one. Ooh, look at this. Uh, this was a zero. And it inverts to a one. And this was already a 1. So a 1 and a 1. Finally, look at that. An AND gate outputting a 1. So test point 4, this one, is a 1. And um, and then we go, uh, do, 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 what is this? Oh, so then that final one, the output right here. Well, an OR gate is always a 1 here if any of these are a 1. If both or one of them is a 1, we get a 1 here. So this is a 1 here. Okay, so let's do another one. Let's let me get out the eraser. Let's erase these right here. Let's erase this right here, erase this right here. Try not to erase my actual drawing. I didn't know it erases the drawing before it didn't do that. I think there's like a setting for that. Um, and then, so let's do one zero. So X, X is one, see right here, we're doing this one, X is one, and Y is zero. So this one's zero. 
So here we go. This is a 1. Here's a 0. It inverts to a 1. Here's a 0. So that's a 0 here. And this is a 1. 1 going down this way. And it inverts to a 0. 0 and 0 makes a 0. And 1 and 1 always makes a 1. So let's just put in these test points. Test point 1 is going to be a 1. Uh, test point 2 is going to be a 1. Test point 3 is a 0. Test point 4 is a 0. And finally, the output is a 1 because there's a 1 here. And remember, if you have any 1s here at all, you're always going to get a 1 output. So there's a 1 output here. Let's do this last row. Let me go here. Eraser, erase, 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 erase this, erase this, erase this, erase this one, and erase this one and go here. And uh, now we're at both ones. So let's put a one here and a one here. And let's figure out this last one real quick. One inverts to a zero. One is still one here. Uh, this one stays one. This one inverts to a zero. Uh, one and a zero will become a zero. A one and a zero become a zero. Because remember, you need both ones here for it to be a one. And two zeros here. Uh, both zeros here is definitely going to output a zero here. For, you know, because you need at least one one somewhere. So this is going to be a zero output at the end. Test point one is right here. That's a zero. And these are just, these don't really mean anything. These are just for educational purposes, remember. Uh, test point two is a zero. We don't usually do these test point things. Uh, test point three is a zero. And test point four is a zero, just for educational purposes, those. So we're pretty much done, except we need an equation. And remember, this is technically the truth table right here, right? Just this section right here. Remember, these are just test points. So um, if we look, I have to write a midterm here and here. Why? Because that's when the, the outputs are ones, right? So we just put F1 right here is equal to, let's see, not X, Y, not X and Y or this one, x not y. And what this means is this says that this output will be 1 when x is off and y is on, or the opposite, when x is on and y is off. And that's true. You noticed that, right? You guys noticed that when one was on and the other one was off, it outputted a 1. And then the opposite, if the, one was, the other one was on and the other off, right? So when, when they're when one of them's on and the other's off, this this output will become on right here. Anything else turns it off. So that's just the way this type of particular electrical design works. That's all. Now, that's what they're looking for right here. Do you guys see that? That equation? Now, get ready. Here's the other one. You guys ready? Phase two. Let's go here. Open. Uh, do you want to save this? No. Problem one. Here we go. Here's the easier way. Do you guys ready? Here's the equation. Follow along with me. Okay. Uh, here's an X, right? So there's an X right here. Here's a Y. So this is a Y right here. See the Y wire? I'm going to invert it. When you invert a Y, it becomes not Y. So this wire is called not Y. Got it? So I'm not looking at test points anymore. I'm not even doing that right now. We're just going to follow all the way to the end. So just follow along with me. So this is y, and we invert it. It becomes not y. This is x. It's still x. Okay. Let's follow this one. This is x. So this wire is x, right? But we invert it, and it becomes this, this little tiny wire right here is technically not x. Okay? This wire is y. All right? Now, when we go through an AND gate, so when we invert them, we add little lines on top because they become not that object, right? It just inverts it. When we AND gate, you have to end up kind of multiplying them, and that means and. Remember plus sign? Plus sign means or, and a multiplication means and, okay? And uh, a, a, flat, a flat line on top like that. Uh, so like let's say A and B, right? That means and, and A or B means or, and this means inverter, right? When we put that little line on top. So look at this. If we, this wire right here, Represents, represents x and not y. Do you guys see that? x and not y. When we multiply them, that means and. So x and not y. This wire is represented by not x and y. 
because it's a not X right here. It's a Y here, and we and them together, and this wire is now this. Now, this is an OR gate. This is an OR gate, right? Because it's not that. That's an AND gate. And OR gates are plus signs, right? The plus means OR. So this right here, this last wire, our final wire, is this one, this wire right here, or this wire right here. And we're done. That is exactly what we just found. This is the other way. So when you're going through the worksheet, it tells you to find them one way or the other. So one way is we find test points and we and we and we make and we fill in these spots right here, right? We fill in these spots using test points. And then we find the min terms. Sorry, right here and right here. We find the min terms and we write the equation. The other way is we just do this thing where we just kind of write letters and and follow the flow. And, be, and then just make sure that you're putting plus signs between this wire and this wire whenever you have an OR. And when you have an AND, we do this. And I'm going to cover this again tomorrow. We're going to go through all the answers tomorrow, and hopefully you guys are done by tomorrow. Um, just pay attention to your worksheet. It tells you which ones to do. So it tells you here, uh, if you go back here, the assignment is right here. And right here it says, using the test points, complete the following truth table. So we, I just did this one for you guys. Using the truth table, write the min terms. We did that. And using the min terms, write the logic expressions. So the min terms, you're just going to write, you know, not x and y, and then x and not y. Those are the two min terms. Then just put the plus sign between them, and that's it. And you got the equation, right? The whole logic expression. Reanalyze the simple AOI logic using a technique where you first extract the logic expression for the output, then use the logic expression to do the truth table. So uh, so they want you to do the same thing, except this time they want you to do what I did right now, which is you put the X here, and then you put the Y, and then the not Y, and then the X here, and then the not X here, and the Y here, and then you and them together, then you or them together, and you write the expression. Then use that expression to do the truth table. Um, and then uh, this one right here is the same thing, pretty much, but it's just a larger one, and that's it. And these ones right here, it says using the analysis technique where you first extract the truth table, then use it to derive the output logic expression, analyze the circuit, and record your record it below. Now using the analysis technique where you first extract the logic expression. So this one is where you first extract the logic expression. So this one is just more practice from before. And that's all there is to it, folks.